something that has always kind of nagged at me is that if these 50-year cycles leading up to the year Jubilees, uh, and of course, you know, as Jonathan Kahn uh, taught us that when you get to the end of those 50-year cycles, you can have blessing for Israel and blessing for God's people, but you can also have the negative hitting at the same time. Well, 1917, the Belfort Declaration that declared that Israel could be a country again. And in 1947, when it really happened, where Israel became a nation, 50 years later was not 2015, it's 2017. You know, so, but I'm, like I say, nothing has to happen. Like Jonathan Kahn so wisely said. Yes, he does. You know what I mean? We can't pin God down. Because I have sent studied words in Romans where it says, I will do a short work on the earth. And in Matthew 24, it says, it says, if those days were not shortened, no one would survive. But for the sake of the elect, I will shorten those days. So God has given himself some wiggle room. You know what I mean? It's not that God needs wiggle room, but I'll tell you what, God's math isn't always necessarily our math. That's right. right. And, uh, and so, so I have a conclusion here, you know, if I'm wrong and, and the dominoes don't start to fall this year or next year, let me tell you why you still need to prepare. America stands in the way of Bible prophecy. America, I believe, for because of our immoral actions, we will be judged, and America will be taken out of the way of Bible prophecy. And let me tell you what, if you take a look at all of these headlines that we're looking at, even if the rapture's not happening next year, even if the great tribulation doesn't start this year or next year, we could see the end of America as we know it anytime. And let me tell you what, in America, we will see a great revival because America will be dropping to its knees and the church will be dropping to its knees in prayer and repenting and the world will come to the church and will come to your house and they'll say, what is going on? And you will finally be in the position you need to be where you can be obedient and win the loss to Jesus Christ. And it doesn't matter. That's right. It doesn't matter when the great tribulation starts. That's right. You need to be prepared for what is coming upon this world and what is coming to America. And if you don't believe that something bad is coming to America, then your head is so far down in the sand that you couldn't even hear an earthquake. That's right. <laughs>